CEO, co-founder of Gulag, an advanced firearm security company. There are 100,000 injuries and deaths due to firearm-related incidents every year, and 80% of firearm accidents occur in the home. However, behind each and every statistic, there is a family and there is a tragedy. On Memorial Day of last year, little three-year-old Lucas Hebert was playing at home when he discovered a loaded 45 caliber handgun that his father had just temporarily, just temporarily hidden under the couch. But like any little toddler, Lucas picked up the gun and started playing with it when he accidentally pulled the trigger. His mom called 911 crying, it's bad, it's really bad. And on that day, little Lucas, even just three years old, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound through his eye. This type of situation is unacceptable, but it's the only reality right now. Why? It's because these existing products actually prevent immediate access. In an emergency scenario, your hands are shaking, your heart rate is elevated, and you lose your fine motor control skills. This is why it's near impossible to get a gun out from any of these safes. That's why law, even law enforcement officers, even the small children, they must choose to keep their guns loaded and unsecured because in an emergency, immediate access is paramount. However, even in Saratoga County and Albany County, there are laws being passed that mandate safe storage. It completely makes sense. However, with these products, that can be a death sentence. So the solution is simple. You just take immediate access and security and combine them. So three years ago, we engineered a concept in the basement and we uploaded it on AR15.com, the largest online gun community. And on it, it went viral. There were thousands of views, hundreds of comments, every single one saying how much they hated it and that it wouldn't work. Biggest invalidation ever. <laughs> so that summer, I went to the Los Angeles Police Department and I conducted research there with experts and professionals, and I pivoted to an idea that was actually needed and wanted by the market. So over the last three years, I've worked tirelessly and directly interacted with over 500 law enforcement, military, and civilian gun owners, and have relentlessly refined our technology. I present today, Ethos. Ethos is a versatile safe that allows you to get media access to unlock it simply, you reach out, grab it, and your gun naturally aligns onto the military spec by fingerprints that turn it unlocks. In the lock position, you can't get it out unless you have the authorized access. So little children and the children, they can't get this out. For audiences in the back, here is a video demonstrating that. In addition, there are locking bounds that are sold so you can place several within your house. So it can be next to your bed, even under your desk. And for gun owners who keep it mostly for home defense, when you access it during, say, bedtime hours, that immediately calls 911 response. So, in comparison, this is a competitor state. There is no time to open it. Even if she had gotten it open, it takes an additional time in order to get a proper shooting grip from an underdog position. However, with ethos, access is streamlined to be immediate and efficient. In terms of progress and achievements, we have won roughly $30,000 in grants and competitions, highlighting in the 2015 Archive Business Law Competition, and we also received the Phase 1 grant from the Smart Tech Challenges Foundation. At the time, we were like developed company, there are other companies that won 50,000, 100,000 grants and they were far more developed. But in the last two years, Gulag is now top three in terms of progress. Furthermore, uh, we presented at Nexus, which was a summit, a panel on Capitol Hill. We were flown out to an interview with Y Combinator last semester. We had our technology shown on a segment of 60 minutes. And in addition, we have been featured on the Los Angeles Times, Fast Company and the other media outlets all inbound. I'm proud to say that Gulag has been a Los Angeles Police Department approved project for the last two years under the Firearm and Tactics Division by Lieutenant Dana Burns. Also, this coming summer, we will be doing beta testing with the Los Angeles Police Department. So our market, 
There are 106.3 million Dudleys. That's roughly one third of the population. And that number is only increasing with current legislation and current events. What we're specifically targeting is households with guns and children. There are 50 million households. And the crazy thing is 43% of firearms are left unsecured. With a state 10% market acquisition in over 10 years, we're already looking at $2.3 billion in total revenue with just those. Numbers. But anyone can talk big market numbers, so in order to prove it, we got letters of intent. Last week, in just three days, we got not only one, two, or three, but eight separate letters of intent all in support. The demand for ethos is incredible. So financials, we are selling direct to customer for $245 at a profit margin of 59%. And we are selling retail at $135 at 26%. With our first production run of just 10,000 units, we are conservatively estimated to hit $2 to $3 million within a time span of just 6 to 8 months. So, in terms of venture maturity, we are a WRC Corp. We have a full patent that's currently pending. We have a working prototype, and we have validated our market. So now we are moving forward. We will be getting seed funding, and then beta testing. And this coming October, we will start manufacturing. And just in case you're wondering how we're going to use this money, yes, we do have a detailed plan on month by month executives on exactly how we're going to leverage our seed capital to hit our milestones. Now for the fun part. Dualog is not a single car company. Already we're working on technological expansion for rifle mounts for the rest of the 357 million firearms out there. But the best part is the Los Angeles Police Department and other police departments are especially in interested in the integration of our technology to biometric posters. This allows for effective retention so criminals can get at it. But in addition, like the smart feature, we can connect it so it turns on body cameras to call for responders and potentials are endless. So, in summary, we have letters of intent, and these following weeks we will be contacting larger scale distributors such as Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Next, we have the Los Angeles Police Department testing where we'll get benchmarking, data analytics, and more. And press exposure, this is a huge national topic. Just a few minutes ago, I got forwarded a national memo by the President of the United States on how the next steps are going to be for addressing firearm safety. And we are at the forefront. So, we are also going confidently into the investment round with connections both on the East Coast and the West Coast. As you can see, we have the resources to succeed. So, I invite you to support and join Dualog in, in disrupting the firearms industry and saving lives. Thank you.